Hi guys and welcome to another video from Stupid is the Norm, the channel where we demonstrate how to become a millionaire in 10 years whilst earning only minimum wage. And in this video I want to explain why it is that I hate the cult. I went to work this morning as usual, 5 o'clock, it's Good Friday, and I want to tell you a little bit about the scene I witnessed. It was 10.20 in the morning, it was a quiet morning taxi-wise, however the two pubs, the Bookies and Greggs on Reckonton High Street were doing a brisk trade and it was 10.20 in the morning. A couple in their 20s walked past my cab, both of them wearing Adidas jogging bottoms. You know the sort, lots of sport clothes weared but very little sport played. He was carrying a 12 pack of Fosters and she had a big family bag of Watsits, so there's lunch and dinner sorted. She had a full face of makeup on and oversized eyelashes, unwashed from the night before. Outside the Coach and Horses pub, two guys were smoking rollies. One gobbed up a big, dockyard oyster onto the pavement in front of him. A child, a girl, maybe 10 year old, runs out of the pub, closely followed by a mother who shouts at her to remind her that she needed two lucky dips bought for tonight. Two potential tickets to freedom, I guess. People would shout at each other across an empty road. It was a bit like a, a scene from a Western. You know that, have you ever seen High Plains Drifter, the one where Clint Eastwood plays the ghost mayor? That town there, it felt very reminiscent of that town there. An old fella gets out another cab. He had a rucksack that was empty and he waddled as if he shit himself. He had cropped hair with a tattoo of a poppy on either side of his temple. Before we walked into the bookies, he turned around and shouted, Happy Friday! to some guy who'd shouted at him from one of the pubs. These people are the lower strata of the 90%. There's none of them poor, there's none of them starving to death, evidently because most of them were overweight. There were some skinny ones, but they were the drug users. No one was what you would call really poor, but everyone looked hopeless. You know, a community who was just accepting their lot in life. They, they had that sort of, well, it is what it is attitude. And all the fellas, for some reason, were wearing shorts. It's freaking freezing. There must be some as yet undetected correlation between learned helplessness and fellas wearing shorts. Because that's what it was, it was learned helplessness, the adoption of a belief system with hopelessness at its core. The sort of attitude, you know, it's, it's like, well, there's nothing I can do to change things, so why bother trying? Even if I just tell them exactly what it was they had to do to become wealthy, you can just see them shaking their heads, offering pity for my deluded attitude. But where did they get this attitude of learned helplessness from? Was it from the parents, the friends, the food bank, the local well-meaning people who run the charity shops? Was it from the two churches that were, then, were in walking distance of the pubs? I don't think it was any one of those institutions in particular, it was all of them together. It's a community thing, it's like a cult. They take strength and sucker from being a member of the cult and the cult don't want anybody else to leave the cult. They make it very difficult to leave the cult. It's comforting, it's warm. I'm like everybody else, it's the herd. And what I haven't told you thus far is that this was Reckonton. I lived here till I was 16 years old, till I left and then joined the forces. I could have been one of them too, but I didn't. That's why I hate the cult. Don't be stupid, don't be normal.